Hello everyone, it's your local guide Alyssa Jensen here in Signal Hill. We're at Long Beach Fish Grill and we're going to do our interview here today with Jessica. So can't wait to meet her, can't wait to hear what she has to say and here we go. Hello everyone, I'm here with Jessica. She is the owner of Long Beach Fish Grill here in Signal Hill and I'm super excited to be here with her today so we can interview her. And there goes the helicopter. <laughs> we'll fire these questions off. And then I'm gonna hand her the mic as well. For some reason, only one mic is working at the moment. Jessica, what do you love most about Signal Hill? Well, I like it that it's very, like Long Beach is very diverse. It is also close to the beach. So the weather is really perfect. And just the people. There's a lot of um, small business owners here. And a lot of them actually come to my restaurants as customers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. There is definitely very a lot of diversity out here in Long Beach, I agree with you. And I smell the fish coming out from the grill right now, actually, and it <laughs> smells good. <laughs> Jessica, how long have you been in business here in Signal Hill? This restaurant um, has been around since 2007, believe it or not. And it took over in 2017. So mm -hmm. it's been like five years for me, but the business has been here for more than 10 years. Perfect, that's amazing. How was business actually during COVID? Yeah, um, obviously it was really hard. I had to shut down maybe for a couple of days and I was really a little apprehensive because mainly my restaurant before COVID was mainly dine-in and we have to really switch to predominantly or just takeout and delivery but then because um, it's been around for a long time I have a very loyal following you know I have a lot of customers who still came and that made us survive you know the pandemic mm -hmm. I appreciate you um, opening up about that a little bit. I know COVID kind of it hit every everywhere really hard. What made you want to start your business when you decided to purchase? Well, I've been working corporate for most of my career, like more than 20 years, but I've always wanted to be a business person. My um, grandparents were business owners, my parents were business owners, and so I do eventually wanted to be a business um, owner myself. Mm -hmm. So I like restaurants because I like, because I'm Filipina and we like to host families and, you know, and events um, and excuse to have a party. So <laughs> I think having a restaurant, it's just an extension of that. You know, it's very, I like to welcome people to my home, you know, offer them, make them comfortable, offer them good food and a good time. That's beautiful, Jessica. You're very family oriented, I could tell. I love that about your business. What does a typical day or week look like in your role? You're the owner and manager. Give me kind of like a timeline of how that works for you, how you feel during the week. When people tell you that, you know, um, owning a restaurant is really hard, it is true. I wake up really early. So I have a couple of locations right now and I'm about to open like a Filipino restaurant in a month. Typically my day is I wake up around three or four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I do like some, you know, administrative stuff and I go to one of my locations. I go to Torrance and I make sure that everything is set up there. And then I come here and make sure that everything is set up here, mm -hmm. you know. And then um, if someone calls out and I don't, or a couple of people calls out because I'm a mom and pop, you know, then I would have to like jump in and work here as well. You know, and then I go home and then at home, I still need to do some other, you know, administrative things. But I like it though. I mean, I can actually, because you're a business person, you can actually arrange your schedule. I find myself having more um, time to go on vacation just because when you work at corporate, you can't really just go on vacation two or three times a year. Yeah. So here I find that I can do that as long as I mean, I work, make sure that everything is taken care of before I leave yeah. yeah but it's pretty hectic you know I can only imagine I know um, I know the restaurant business is very very busy it's neat to hear the other side of it as a business owner so thank you for that what would your customers say they love most about your product service what would customers love most about Long Beach Fish Grill I would say the food you know because we offer really fine dining quality seafood with very reasonable price you know it's in a casual environment so I'm able to instead of paying for the linens and all the perks of fine dining they're just paying for the food so I offer just the freshest ingredients you know the freshest seafood and I offer also like a 
like a lot of different types of um, fish. You know, I have halibut, I have swordfish, I have ahi, sushi grade. Um, I have catfish, I have like Pacific snapper, I have rainbow trout. Wow. So um, not a lot of restaurants offer that and they're all fresh. So um, my even my produce is locally sourced. So all my sauces are actually house-made. We don't just open a bottle. Everything we do, we make here from scratch. Even our soup, you know, our clam chowder is made from scratch. We cook it every day. Our um, bread we get from a bakery. It's called Giuliano's Bakery. They've been around since, I don't know, 1964 or something like that in Gardena. So it's not like store-bought, you know. It actually comes from a bakery. So all those things, our customers appreciate those. So it's really the food. And then, you know, try. it's a laid-back environment, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very, it's really um, like a neighborhood restaurant. Yeah. It's what it is. And I think that's what they like about it. We care about our customers. We care that they get the best food we could ever offer. Jessica, that's terrific. I know the one thing that I haven't tried is the clam chowder, so I'm definitely going to try that. <laughs> we know that you have this location here in Long Beach Signal Hill, and then you also have the one in Torrance, Torrance. now that you just opened up when? I'll be opened um, April 3rd of this year. April 3rd of this year. Okay, terrific. So, Jessica, my last question and final question. How can everyone best get a hold of you? Well, we have all our social media handles, so we can I can actually give that to you. And we also have a website, and you can send me an email um, at jessica at lbfishgirl.com. And, you know, just whatever you want to ask, you know, I'll be more than happy to answer. Jessica, thank you so much. Our community appreciates you and your restaurant. Thank you so much. And I love, I love Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, me too. I'm so happy we got a chance to do this, and I hope everyone comes and visits Long Beach Fish Grill.